Hello, it's Moe Kamok here with day one of the Halloween hunt of 2024. Now I only have two hours before I have to go on a massive long road trip, so I'm rushing this. So pretty well, let's get started. If you have a map and need cords, both of those are included in the video and also in the video description and wherever else I'll post it. After that, uh, let's get started here. So basically from the start here, what you want to do is essentially go underneath the MCC Island sign. And I'll just go on the left hand side. You can go on the uh, right hand side if you want. Uh, be careful not to fall into the game hole. Uh, and then your first one is right here. There are the cords. On to the next. So essentially what you want to do is uh, go around um, uh, or past the rats and the pose building. And you want to head yourself into the robber's cave. So we will be taking the waterfall entrance. Going in. And once you're in follow the cave take a right at the first intersection take a narrow right past the lockout uh, robber character and there's your next stash here are the cords it's bugged i collected it but it's whatever on to the next you want to head into the main lobber uh, uh hideout thing and head out uh side here and essentially you want to go now into the sewers uh use the entrance next to the police station which is right here Go down, go straight, keep following, and then take a left at this first intersection here, and then take a right and go underneath the iron bars for your next stash location. There's that. Then head back out. Uh, we'll go out this way. So essentially hang a right and go up the first exit. So now the next one we want to go to is the head maze. Uh, if you parkour on top, uh, you don't have to do the maze, so that's a little bit of a time save there. So essentially you want to head your way over this way. To the fairgrounds. There's the hedge maze I'm talking about. But essentially what you want to do is just go up on the end here. Parkour across the top. There's your next stash. There are the cords. On to the next which is essentially on top of Halo Mountain again, this time on one of the spikes instead of on the center. So let's head there now. But yeah, tomorrow is also going to be hectic because I have my graduation for being an engineer. So hopefully I can get a video out tomorrow from a hotel room, but we'll see about that. <laughs> um, okay, so essentially you want to start climbing up here. Uh, give me a sec. I'm rusty and I'm Russian. Keep on climbing up. There's a tree here. Go on to here. And then once you get up to one of these vines, you can kind of follow the vine around. That's an easy way to get up the rest of the way. Nope. Should be. Give me a sec. Please stop being blinding me. Thank you. Anyways, once you're in, it's on top of that uh, spike there, as you can see. So that's where we're heading. Touch of parkour is needed, but it's not bad. There's the next stash. Next one, we can... Okay, it's just not in render distance quite yet. But as you can see, now it is. So that's the one we're heading to next. So essentially, you can just drop your way down. As you can see, they're working their way up. There's the next stash location onto the next. So essentially what we want to do is go to that town that's on the back of the island. And in the uh, one house in the attic where there's lots of gold, there's a narrow stash there. So we'll head there. Take the bridge. I'm going to do that. But yeah, essentially, it's in the one big house there. So you can go up in there, or you can just go in here and use the stairs up. 
up this ladder where these people are. There's the cords, on to the next. So you essentially want to head back out the house and follow the uh, path to go up the mountain. Because there is essentially one at the base of the mountain here. Yep, right here. There are the cords, on to the next. And essentially you want to work your way up to here, head a left into this cave here. And your next stash is right there. There are the cords, on to the next. You essentially you just want to head your way back to in front of the entrance here. And go up, and now on the left hand side there's an air stash. So there are the cords. Now onto the next, it's in the hidden cave, so you have to be careful when you drop down. So essentially you just want to drop down here. There's a hole in the wall, you just go in. And there's your stash with the cords. On to the next, you want to head back out. Now I'm doing a little bit of parkour in order to try to save some time on routing. But uh, if you do fall, you just have to work your way up. Uh, so essentially I'm just working my way up, back up. So essentially once you get back up to the path here, you want to head up uh, this path that winds up and goes into the, the bridges here where you want to go into essentially the spiral cave and then once you're in the spiral cave go up the spiral and then jump across right here and that's your next stash with your cords onto the next next you want to uh, essentially drop back down head out and now we're going between the purple uh, fraction and the um, the yaks, I believe, and as you can see, you can see it on the hilltop there, so that's where we're heading to next. So just head over onto this tree here. So there's the sash, and there's the quartz on the next. Next, we want to head to the cargo beach because there's two there, which is, should be the last two stashes for day one. And then there's the chest, which you can't go to directly. You have to go to the one spot and then the teleport to, which I will show in a moment. So essentially, you just want to head over here, drop down, and there's your stash. There are the cords onto the last stash, which is essentially right behind this open cargo container right there. There are the cords. Now onto the chests. You want to essentially swim to the boat that was once connected to the island. As you can see from here, there's a ladder on one side onto a rescue boat. You want to climb up and go into the main boat and into the bottom. Uh, and then in the bottom, there's a whole bunch of teleport things. However, only one is active, which is release all MCC games onto MCCI. You want to stand on that one. And then from there, it should be on your left hand side which I'll be able to show you in one second. Essentially, you want to climb up, head to the back, drop down, head into here, go into the one that's on, stand on top, get teleported, left-hand side, jump over, there's your chest. That's it for today. I have an hour and 50 minutes left. Hopefully, I get this uploaded in time. Okay, have a good day.